What about you? Welcome to a Beginner's Guide to How to Overstage Your Lawn. I'm going to show you step by step everything you need. Let's go. The lawn looks great now, but 18 months ago it was a different story. It was covered in weed grasses. We killed it off and we showed you every step of the way. We put down fresh grass seed, top dressed it and sold it, levelled it, fed it, watered it, watched it grow. Why overseed your lawn? Overseeding your lawn is a really important step and it's something that you should think about doing at least once a year, spring and autumn. It helps stop an invasion of weed grasses and weeds coming into your lawn. It doesn't matter where you're from, we get views from Australia, New Zealand, Canada, America, all over Europe. I'm in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and this video is all about cool season grasses. But if you're enjoying this video, smash that like button for me because it really helps me grow my channel. Our first job before we start overseeding the lawn is to give the lawn a cut. Now, depending on the length of your grass, if your grass is quite long, you might want to scalp it down because it's going to make the process easier. Now, for a lawn like this, we'll just, we're just going to cut it at a normal length. I have a bonus tip for you. If you want to find out the best thing to cover your new seed with, or should you even cover your grass seed, I'm going to show you something to help you decide. So that's going to be towards the end of the video. To overseed your lawn properly, if you take your grass seed and if you just throw it down on top of the lawn, there's a good chance that it's not going to grow. You have to prepare your lawn for it. So I'm going to show you two different methods now. An easy way to overseed your lawn is to aerate it. Now, whenever you aer aerate your lawn, you're actually creating little plant pots in the soil. Now, you don't need any expensive tools to do this. You can use a drill or a garden fork is enough. Now, obviously for larger spaces, you'll probably want to use a tool. Today, we're going to be using an aerator, but I'm going to show you how you can do small localized spots. Now, the key thing is, if you're going to be using these tools, you don't want to be going too deep. So you're just creating a small hole in the surface. Let's do that now. You can see the holes left from the aerator and that's where the seed's going to go. The holes act as little plant pots in the soil. Whenever it starts to grow, it looks like this. My next tip to overseed your lawn is to use a springtime rake or else a scarifier. To scarify your lawn, you don't need any fancy tools. You can just use a springtime rake. And what this does is it creates lines into the soil and we're going to use that to seed into. So for smaller spaces, you can use this, but for larger spaces, you might want to consider getting yourself a scarifier. Now these can be hard or else you can pick up a small one for your lawn. Press the rake firmly into the lawn and use it to break up the soil or dirt. It needs to go deep enough that it creates lines in the soil and helps break up the surface tension below the lawn. Now let's try with the scarifier. When's the best time to overseed? You can overseed your lawn from spring, spring and autumn. Now, if you do it in early spring or late autumn, then you're always going to risk frost and that's just a chance you take.
that's the lawn all cleaned up, double scarified, ready for some seed. Now that the waste is cleared off the lawn, you can see the lines left and this is where the seed is going to grow. So we have the lawn all cleared up. Our next step is now to seed the lawn. So let's do that now. If you want to find out what the best grass seed is for your lawn, I'm going to leave a link in the video description. Whenever we overseed the lawn, we use the fertilizer spreader. It is very accurate. However, if you don't have any tools like that, you could just use a builder's line and a bamboo and, and mark your lawn out in sections. Way enough to do a certain area, put your seed out and then move your area on to the next one. So a soft brush is a good way to ensure good seed to soil contact. Whenever you're over sowing your lawn, it's really important that you get a good contact with the seed, gets a good contact with the soil. So let's do that. Now, if your neighbors see you out brushing the lawn, they might think you're nuts. You don't need any tools at all to get good seed to soil contact, you can just use your feet. Next up, we have a drag mat. Now, professional groundsmen use these. They cost two or three hundred pounds. The only thing you need for this is a few cable ties, a brush shaft, a length of rope, and this mat. Now, I'm gonna leave a link down in the video description where you can pick one of these up these work incredibly well and they're a lot cheaper this comes to less than 40 pounds at the start of the video we talked about a bonus tip now, if you want to find out the best thing to cover grass seed with, make sure to watch this video next.